Hey people, welcome to Nasike's Kitchen. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do. We'll really appreciate. Remember to like, comment, and share. Today with me, I have my... Smile Chef. Yes, and today we are so excited because you're going to make bajia. Do you love bajia? Yes. Why do you love bajias? Because they are so nice. They are so nice. Yes. Have you ever eaten bajias? Yes. When was that? It was on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we are going to make homemade bajias using Irish potatoes or waru. This one is called potatoes. Yes. They are called Irish potatoes because there are some that are called sweet potatoes but these ones are irish potatoes and this is how they look so first this is our machine that you're going to use if you have this thing in your house it's so helpful it can help you peel uh, yes i'm going to give you it helps to peel off the the cover of the Irish potato and you can see it is peeling so well so sometimes it's good to um, prepare these bajias at home it's cheaper and it's also it will be a lot compared to the ones that you buy yeah and everyone will be so full she'll be so full yes so after that i'm going to put them in water so that the mud cannot stick or the dirt I'll give you mommy. I know you you really want to try this. It looks easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know you're so excited. You really want to try. But let me do this and then I'll give you one to try. And then you tell me how your experience is. So I want to give you one, you try to peel, we see how it will come out. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Let me give you this small one. Mm -hmm. Then A, uh, you use this here. Yes, good. 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 You can see, you can see she's really trying. Keep on. Or alternatively, you can put here like this and then you just do like that. Good. Good. Wow. That's so nice. Mm hmm Good job. Let me help you. Yes. So that we do faster, faster. We want to eat this bajias. So let me just peel off, peel them very fast, so that we go to the next step. So Phoenix. Yes. What do you tell our viewers? Watch this video. Mm -hmm. Comment. Mm -hmm. share and watch this channel yes and they should subscribe to the channel yes what is your favorite food my favorite food mm -hmm. is bajia ah bajia is your favorite food yes are you sure yes <laughs> okay so you can eat this bajia like every day yes and you don't get bored Yes. Oh my goodness. And what do you tell your classmates? 
the ones that you are in school with they are on holiday right now they are at home what are you telling them i tell them mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. comment mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. and watch this channel and they they should also learn how to cook Cindy? yes yes like you so you learn how to cook each and every day yes and what do you love cooking? Bajia. You love bajia? Yes. Not cakes? And cakes. <laughs> and not pancakes? And pancakes. Oh, okay. That's so good. So our small chef will put some salt. There is water in this cooking pot. Add some salt all of it. Yes like that and then the next thing i'm going to wash my potatoes the irish potatoes that have been grating uh, not grating the irish potatoes that have been peeling and then you are going to blanch them and if you don't know what blanching is, it means that you cook them, but they don't like overcook. They just cook a bit and then you remove them. That is what blanching is. That is what I'm going to do. And then after that, let me show how they look. So guys, here are our potatoes that we've washed. We've put some water and some salt and we're going to blanch them for about five minutes. And then we'll go to the next step. This next step you're going to make kachumbari. And for our ingredients, you are going to use tomato, tomato, onions, and coriander. Ah. Say coriander. Coriander. Or dania. Say dania. Dania. Yes, dania or coriander. So let's start with our dania or coriander, if you like. We are going to. Chop them nicely, very little pieces. They're small. Yes. Do you like the smell? Yes. Of the dania? Yes. It's so nice? Yes. And also you can use parsley. If you don't have dania, you can use parsley. It's okay. So after this, I'm going to transfer it. Here it is. Let's set it aside. Then we are going to cut. We are going to 
dice our tomato You see how we dance? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yes. It was very small pieces. It was very small pieces like this. Mm -hmm. What are they called? It is called dicing. Dicing. Yes. You need to chop them into small pieces. Yes, we cut them into small pieces. What is that there? Mm -hmm. What is that there? Now we will talk about that later. Yes. We are still making the kachumbari. Say kachumbari. Kachumbari. Yes. We are still making bajia. Yes. You know, meanwhile, as our potatoes are blanching. Now we are making the kachumbari. Here is our dania and tomato. Tomato. Then next we are going to dice also our onion. If you don't want the tangy taste of to onions, you can put them in cold water for some time. It's like you rinse, you rinse them and then it will remove the tangy taste. But for us, we don't have any problem with the taste. So we are just going to use them this way. So here are our onions you are going to add in our plates. Small chef will mix everything together. Mix, mix everything together. So guys, it's good to go. And, and this is how you taste. You just dip your your knife and so we'll remove it and then we get to the next step now guys the next step is to make the paste and you're going to use multi-purpose flour for that reason here's the multi-purpose flour I want you to add here mm -hmm. one two, two. Three, four, five, continue adding, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12 that is enough thank you so much my you're small chef you're welcome okay and then this this is the food color that you're going to use we just use a little not much like that i think it's a quarter weight it's a quarter a teaspoon yeah it's a quarter teaspoon you're going to add add like that so here it is 
is going to mix so after that I'm going to add water bit by bit as you mix mix and the lumps are not there then it will be good to go so guys in this next step you are going to cut our potatoes to slice them actually here there so guys this is what you are going to do and then I dip it you remove the excess butter and then you set it aside what are you doing I'm making bajia uh -huh. So you pick the potato, you dip it inside the butter, like that, then you set aside. Good job. Here they are. Now we are going to deep fry them. So next I'm going to add the pieces in the cooking oil. I let them cook for two to three minutes, then I turn. They are ready, I'll turn and then I'll remove. You can see how lovely they look. Hi, small Hi. chef! Hi! Now we are done with our bajia recipe. You can see how lovely it looks. Isn't it amazing? Yes! Now, I want you to repeat what did we do while preparing the bajia? We used yes, we used flour, flour, and then potato, potatoes, and then we used, used food color. color. Another thing we used mm -hmm. oil, oil. Then we used tomatoes. Toast. Then we used dania. And then we used onions. And then we used food color and then we used yeah those are the things we used in preparation of the kachumbari and also the bajia you can see how lovely it looks so guys i want my small chef to have a taste pick one and taste how does it taste nice it's so nice Yes. So they should try out this mm. recipe and let us know mm. how it turned out. And guys, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel and we'll really appreciate. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.